Hi folks, this is Hira Babu and you are watching ProgrammingSwift.com. So today we are going to learn about uh, interceptors in Spring Boot, right? So what is interceptor and what you can do with the interceptor? See, you can use interceptor in a Spring Boot to perform the operation under the uh, some very good situation, right? Like before sending the request to the controller or before sending the response to the client, right? Like for example, you can use interceptor to add request header before sending the request to the controller and add the response header before sending the request to the client. So in both ways, you can use interceptor and to work with the interceptor, you need to create at the rate component. Okay. So uh, because it support uh, supports it, right? And it should implement a handler uh, interceptor. Okay. Handler interceptor is an interface that contains three methods that is pre handle, post handle, and after completion. Okay, so let's. Uh, I have already created uh, a class that is my service, right? So my service class uh, implements handler interface, right? And handler interface contains three pre, post, and after completion methods, right? So I have just override the methods and give a, given a very simple console message. Before uh, it will called uh, pre handler method is calling, and now the post handler will call. Post handler method is calling as a console message, and the last one after completion will give the response and request is completed. Okay, so this is very uh, simple example. So we have just created a my class my service as a class and implemented an interface and an interface that contains these three method and we have just override these methods and i have annotated with the at the rate component right because at the rate component class supports it uh, as a handler handler request it supports right so let's uh, begin so next next what we have we have we have created a service interceptor service interceptor why we have created because service without the service interceptor you cannot do anything right so because sir you have to register your interceptor uh, with the registry and uh, that will that interceptor registry will use the mvc uh, configure adapter right so that we have used mvc configurator and that extend that we have already extended the value and we have written the component so now we have to override method of the parent class that is a uh, add interceptor we have passing the interceptor registry as a uh, parameter right to register the interceptor so i have just on the registry we have added an interceptor and we have passed our object my service that contains our uh, pre post and uh, after completion methods right because this is a handler handler interceptor you can handle uh, request response anytime okay so now we are going to create a very simple component i have created very simple component a product that will contain name and id and we have other we have set navigator nothing more what we can do we can create a controller here controller will contain uh, it will uh, it will give a response in the JSON. Okay, so we have written at the rate request controller. Request controller will contain uh, we in this file. What, what we have to do? We should create a map that will contain the list of books, right? Or we, we list of products, right? So I have I have created a static method. This is just a map. What map contain string as a value and product name. Product will product should have ID and name, right? and we have created a, uh, a static block why because when the program will get executed uh, our application will get loaded first our uh, map will be get fulfilled M map should be load the data so we have created a product as a book and book contain id and name right uh, and i have just uh, added those uh, in the product repository right another we have created a product uh, laptop and we have given the value and added over the product repository so whenever the static we are writing it will load first the application will get loaded okay now we have created a request mapping you can get get mapping i'm using you can use request mapping so request map this method get product will return a request entity and as a argument it is i'm just uh, giving type 
as object i am passing right you can pass anything you can give product name also so it will return a response entity it will create it will take a values and http okay right so we are just passing response entity two values values and status let's understand and execute the program we have to go to run method main method okay our program is going to execute so now you can see that uh, on my controller my product we have given and my product is giving the two response the first we have product at index number zero i do had a love story book and another we have dell inspiron as a laptop right so thanks for watching if you have any doubt please ping me